Hello awesome people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at the third short story in this collection, Bill's Paper Chase. It's in the Monkey's Paw. It's by W.W. Jacobs. He's a big name during the bull era. Uh, he has the, the name of this collection. I'll link you to this collection below. I'll also try to find it for you for free since it's more than 100 years ago. This is the first video I've recorded after some surgery, so I'm just checking to make sure uh, that you can make sure that you can hear this. I had a surgery on my jaw a couple of weeks ago. So I've been reading here and there, but I haven't been actually, you know, recording videos and so forth. But they said it's okay. But, you know, I'm still having my mouth a little numb, so it's a little harder to hear. So let me know if there's any issues. I apologize with that at a time. Again, this is Bill's Paper Chase. It's 10 pages long for you folks. I, I came across a short story by him in his tattoo collection called A Marked Man. I thought it was okay, and then a lot of people responded really well to it. So I figured I'd follow along and pick this up for fun times, and then we'll see what happens. So that's what, that's basically the key thing that was happening here with this short story for you folks. So no spoilers, uh, but I think that this is an okay short story, Bill's Paper Chase. Basically on the first page or so of the 10 page short story, which took me around a half an hour last night to re for me to read in this collection and so forth. Uh, basically what's happening on the first page that we're going to find out our point of view character is an older man who is speaking uh, about some things that are happening in the past and saying that sealers are horrible and I know because I used to be one and then he tells this story. So that's the, the framing device. Sealers are horrible people. And now we're going to find out why from this person. Uh, I think, so that's the framing device. This, is, this isn't in the genres that I cover for, like horror, like the monkey's paw from the previous one, or the uh, science fiction or fantasy, but it's fine. I don't, I like it and so forth, but it's okay. I don't think that it really goes into a major space or anything like that. So this is probably more of a, a five and a half or six out of 10, rather than a proper higher number. I'll touch, but it's fine. Bill's Pilper Chase is, okay, is an okay short story. Hope, hope you, and again, it's a fast read. It doesn't take that much of your time. It's not only 10 pages long, which I like a lot. So there you are. That's Bill's Paper Chase for you for. Have you read it? If so, what do you think about it? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Whatever your thoughts are. If you, if you agree, just hear my thoughts up too. As a reminder, uh, this channel's name is the worst thing about new books. It's a quote by a French philosopher, Jacques Joubert, who said that the worst thing about them was that they kept us from reading the old ones, right? And this is definitely an older work. So I definitely like that. Finding these older things that people might have forgotten about or heard above, but then they're actually read. So that, that's cool. And then if you, find, if you like this one, hit the subscribe button, the bell button, if you feel risky, and, then, and, the, and the like button too, and tell your friends too. And then finally, I just want to pause, just taking a moment to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day. And investing in watching my video because we all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions so the fact that you spent this time with me that's incredibly humbling and i appreciate it again have a great day